Welcome to Sports Briefing. The content of the briefing includes Texas vs. Washington College Football Playoff, Sugar Bowl Live Updates, TV, Odds, Picks, Tuesday's Gossip, Mbappe, Phillips, Kimmich, Huang, Deer, Yoro, Zeech, Navis, Tadibo. Knicks closes career with five TD passes, number eight Oregon rolls over Liberty 45-6 in Fiesta Bowl. Shanahan weighing rest versus rust decision ahead of 49ers playoff by Florida State lands ex Clemson, Oregon State quarterback DJ Weungalale. Texas versus Washington College football playoff, Sugar Bowl live updates, TV, odds, picks. Yahoo! Texas Longhorns are the favorite to defeat Washington Huskies in the Sugar Bowl. The game will be shown on ESPN. Texas is favored to win by four points, and the over under is set at 63.5. Tuesday's gossip Mbappe, Phillips, Kimmich, Huang, Deer, Yoro, Zeech, Navis, Tadibo. Yahoo! Liverpool and Real Madrid are both keen to sign Paris Saint Germain forward Kylian Mbappe, who is out of contract at the end of the season. The 25 year old France international is free to join another club this month. Paris Saint Germain are the favourites to sign Manchester City midfielder Calvin Phillips, while Manchester United and Liverpool are leading the race to sign Bayern Munich's Joshua Kimmich when his contract expires in the summer. West Ham are interested in signing Tottenham defender Eric Deere, while Manchester City are keeping tabs on Lille youngster Lenny Yoro. Knicks closes career with five TD passes, number eight Oregon rolls over Liberty 45-6 in Fiesta Bowl. Associated Press. Number 8 Oregon defeated number 18 Liberty 45-6 in the Fiesta Bowl, with quarterback Bo Nix throwing for 363 yards and five touchdowns. Nix's performance capped off a remarkable season, with him breaking the NCAA record for the highest completion percentage in a season. The Ducks finished the season with a 12-2 record, narrowly missing out on a spot in the college football playoff. Liberty, in their first New Year's Six Bowl, were unable to match Oregon's pace and finished the season with a 13-1 record. Shanahan weighing rest versus rust decision ahead of 49ers playoff by Yahoo! San Francisco 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan is weighing the decision of whether to rest his key starters or allow them to play in the final regular season game against the Los Angeles Rams. The 49ers secured the NFC's number one playoff seed, which means they will have a first round bye, and Shanahan has to make sure his team does not lose momentum. Resting players can cause them to develop bad habits, and the coach added that there is not a clear-cut decision on the matter. Florida State lands ex-Clemson, Oregon State quarterback DJ Weungalale. Associated Press. Former Clemson and Oregon State quarterback DJ Weungalale has announced that he will be transferring to Florida State. Weungalale, who visited Florida State in December, threw for 2,638 yards, 21 touchdowns, and 7 interceptions in 2023 at Oregon State. He also ran for 219 yards. Prior to his time at Oregon State, Weungalale played for Clemson, where he threw for 5,681 yards. With one year of eligibility left, Weungalale is expected to serve as a bridge quarterback while Florida State develops their younger quarterbacks. Oregon's Bo Nix ends five-year college odyssey as one of most productive QBs in NCAA history. Associated Press. Oregon quarterback Bo Nix finished his college football career with a bang, leading the Ducks to a 45-6 victory over Liberty in the Fiesta Bowl. Nix threw for five touchdowns and broke the NCAA single-season record for completion percentage, connecting on 77.44% of his passes. Nix finishes his career as one of the most productive quarterbacks in NCAA history, with 15,352 career passing yards and 16,965 total yards. He made 61 career starts, the most ever in the football bowl subdivision. Nix's career was resurrected at Oregon after an awkward split with Auburn following three inconsistent seasons. The quickly, Canadian Barrett start for Raptors two days after being traded to Toronto. The Toronto Star. Newly acquired guards R.J. Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly will make their debuts for the Toronto Raptors tonight. They were included in head coach Darko Rajakovic's starting lineup against the Cleveland Cavaliers. Barrett, a native of Mississauga, Ontario, and Quickly were recently traded to the Raptors from the New York Knicks in exchange for O.G. Anunoby, Precious Akiowa, Malachi Flynn, and a second-round pick in the 2024 NBA draft. Barrett was a key player on Canada's bronze medal team at the FIBA World Cup in September. Dolphins pass rusher Bradley Chubb Dunn for season with torn ACL. Associated Press. Miami Dolphins pass rusher Bradley Chubb has suffered a torn anterior cruciate ligament, ACL, 
in his right knee and will miss the rest of the season, according to coach Mike McDaniel. Chubb sustained the injury during the team's 56-19 loss to the Baltimore Ravens on Sunday. McDaniel expressed regret over having Chubb and other starters in the game when the deficit was already significant. This is the third ACL tear for Chubb, who leads the Dolphins in sacks and forced fumbles this season. The Dolphins will now be without their two-star linebackers, as Jalon Phillips also suffered a torn Achilles tendon in Week 12. Marc-Andre Fleury can't help but smile about his career in goal, even if he'd rather skip the fuss. Associated Press Marc-Andre Fleury, the fourth goalie in NHL history to appear in 1,000 games, is on the verge of reaching another milestone in his 20th season. He is one win away from tying for second place on the career wins list. Fleury, known for his personable and reliable nature, has won three Stanley Cup championships and the 2021 Vizina Award. Despite his achievements, Fleury remains humble and focused on the game he loves. His contract with the Minnesota Wild expires this summer, and while he has not ruled out a return, he has no interest in a farewell tour. Sulla scores two after changing boots as Liverpool beats Newcastle to open up three-point lead. Associated Press Mohamed Salah played a starring role in Liverpool's 4-2 win over Newcastle before heading off to compete in the Africa Cup of Nations. Salah scored Liverpool's first and last goals, as well as assisting in the other two, in a chaotic game at Anfield. With Salah potentially missing until mid-February, Liverpool will be hoping he can lead them to their 20th league championship. The victory opened up a three-point lead in the Premier League, with Manchester City in third place, five points behind Liverpool. Rose Bowl Live Updates, Alabama to Face Michigan in College Football Playoff. Washington Post. About the game. This is the first college football playoff semifinal, with the winner advancing to the national championship game. Michigan is the top-ranked team in the country and is undefeated with a 13-0 record. Alabama is the fourth-ranked team and has a 12-1 record. The game will be held at the Rose Bowl, a historic venue that is fitting for two prestigious football programs. Kickoff is at 5 p.m. Eastern and will be televised on ESPN. Former Washington State QB Cameron Ward announces plans to enter NFL Draft. Associated Press. Cameron Ward, former Washington State quarterback, has decided to forego his final season of college football and declare for the NFL Draft. Ward initially intended to enter the NCAA transfer portal but has instead chosen to start his professional career. Ward threw for 3,232 yards and 23 touchdowns in his first season with Washington State, and last season, he ranked 8th in the country in passing with 3,736 yards and 25 touchdowns. The deadline for players to formally declare for the NFL draft is January 15. Fans who have thrown drinks at games have been dealt with harshly. Yahoo! The NFL still hasn't said what it will do about Panthers owner David Tepper, who threw a drink onto fans outside his suite at Everbank Stadium on Sunday. However, NFL teams have not taken kindly in the past to fans throwing drinks onto players. Blown tripping call led to Lions even getting a chance at two-point conversion. Yahoo! Referees missed a tripping penalty by the Detroit Lions as the Dallas Cowboys drove to take the lead late in their game on Sunday, according to Cowboys coach Mike McCarthy. Instead of the Cowboys having a first down on the Detroit 7-yard line, they were backed up to midfield and ended up throwing three straight incomplete passes, stopping the clock and enabling the Lions to come back and score a touchdown and a two-point conversion to win the game. Georgia DB announces NFL draft decision. Yahoo! Georgia Bulldogs safety Tyke Smith has announced his intention to enter the 2024 NFL Draft. Smith, a senior, had eligibility remaining but has decided to forego it and enter the draft. He primarily played slot cornerback for Georgia in the 2023 season and was one of the team's most disruptive defenders. Smith finished the season with four interceptions, two sacks, and 70 tackles. He has also accepted an invitation to the Senior Bowl. Smith thanked Georgia football for his time with the team in a social media post. He joins fellow defensive backs Kamari Lassiter and Javon Bullard in entering the NFL draft. Well, 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 my fellow viewers. It's your favorite observer from the Six Degrees world, Dr. Six, here to bring you the latest news from around the sports world. We've got some exciting updates today, so let's dive right in. In college football news, the Texas Longhorns are favored to defeat the Washington Huskies in the Sugar Bowl. Can the Longhorns live up to the expectations? We'll have to wait and see. Meanwhile, Liverpool and Real Madrid are both vying to sign Paris Saint-Germain forward Kylian Mbappe, who is out of contract at the end of the season. It's going to be a fierce battle for his signature. Moving on to the NFL, 
San Francisco 49ers coach Kyle Shanahan is facing a tough decision of whether to rest his key starters or let them play in the final regular season game. Rest or rust, that is the question. And in heartbreaking news, Miami Dolphins pass rusher Bradley Chubb has suffered a torn ACL and will miss the rest of the season. Ouch. The Dolphins will have to find a way to keep the pressure on without their star linebacker. Switching gears to basketball, newly acquired guards RJ Barrett and Emmanuel Quickly are set to make their debuts for the Toronto Raptors. Will they be able to make an immediate impact? We'll be watching closely. And in the NHL, Marc-Andre Fleury, the fourth goalie in history to reach 1,000 games, is on the verge of reaching another milestone. He's one win away from tying for second place on the career wins list. Talk about a legendary career. In other news, Mohamed Salah had a stellar performance for Liverpool, scoring two goals and assisting in two more. But with Salah heading off to compete in the Africa Cup of Nations, Liverpool will have to find a way to keep the momentum going without their star player. And finally, we have some interesting tidbits from the world of American football. Former Washington State quarterback Cameron Ward has decided to forego his final season of college football and declare for the NFL draft. Best of luck to him. And it seems that fans who throw drinks at games have been dealt with harshly in the past. So, if you're thinking of tossing your beverage onto the field, think again. Well, my dear viewers, that wraps up today's news roundup. We've had some exciting developments in college football, the NFL, basketball, hockey, and more. But what do you think? Do you have any thoughts on these stories? Any burning questions you'd like to ask? The floor is yours, my friends. Let's keep the discussion going and see where it takes us. Thank you for tuning in. The content above showcases the latest briefing reports and analytical synopses, thoughtfully curated by the 6 Do team. These insights stem from a wide array of reputable media outlets, think tanks, government sources, and specialized experts worldwide. We encourage you to explore these sources for a comprehensive perspective. Keep in mind that while the content may not always align with the official standpoint of 6 Do brief, it's not meant to be taken as absolute directives for decision-making. Comprising seasoned media professionals, learned scholars, and accomplished scientists, the 6 Do team embodies a trailblazing, fully independent media entity. To customize 6 Do Brief to meet your professional needs, you have the option to subscribe to a diverse array of briefings on our website, 6 Regardless of your location, you can conveniently receive 6 Do Brief via email.